it is time again. Oh boy. So it's funny. So this is our this is our annual tradition for a while here to play the next Silent Hill each year. And um Yeah, we're out of the good ones. I mean some people say we ran out of the good ones after two. Some people say after three. Some people say after four. Honestly, I think Silent Hill 4 is alright. In some ways, it was really neat. Uh, and I don't know, maybe this one will surprise me too. But from here on out, the Silent Hill games are not made by Team Silent. I think 4 was. Uh, Silent Hill Origins, people were expecting a different one, I think. But I, I guess people just forget Silent Hill Origins? Origin, or, oranges? What? Or, origin? I forgot to say this word. <laughs> I think I, I get the feeling people forgot that Silent Hill Origins ever existed. I don't know. I feel like people mention like what is the next one? Homecoming or Shattered Memories or something. There's like I think it's I don't remember the order of them, but there's Shattered Memories or uh Homecoming and Downpour, I think are the three remaining ones. Hello. So on one hand, it feels like we got here so fast and I can't believe we're here already, already on the fifth Silent Hill game. On the other hand, I never thought we'd make it this far in some ways. Like, I was like, am I really gonna play one Silent Hill game per year every Halloween? Like, it's gonna take forever to get through them all, right? Well, we're already fucking halfway there, apparently. But that said, if they do come out with the new... It's like rumors of Kojima working on a new Silent Hill game. No, wait, no, I think it's the other company. I don't know. If a new one comes out, I might actually play it while it, while it comes out. But let's go. How bad could it be? Who'd I just pass there? That you, good buddy? Tree top tall and wall to wall. Travis, you messed up son of a bitch. What you doing on my road? Well, hit on a gig, bud. I'm taking the shortcut past Silent Hill. Stop up for coffee as soon as I hit Brahms. I'm beat. Bad dreams still keeping you awake. I told you, man, a girl or two would go a long way. Sleep like a baby with a chicken, your cat. Guess I just don't meet the right girls, bud. Maybe if you weren't always blabbering about losing your parents when you do your how you don't even remember how, why. Hey, chill. You don't see me bringing up your issues. <laughs> no need. My old lady keeps me fully informed of my feelings. The girl keeps notes. You mean she hasn't left you yet? <laughs> Any day now. See you around, Travis. Take it easy. 10-4. Catch you later, buddy. They specifically cut out his tragic backstory. You're about to get a lesson if you're not careful. Huh? 
Hey, come back. Mmm, it's not too late, buddy. You can just get back in the car. Just get back in and leave. Not worth it. This doesn't end well for you. Mm. That girl. Did I hit her? I need to catch up with her. No. Even that sign knows what's up. It says stop. There's not even a line on the road for it to be a stop spot. It's just a sign that's correctly identifying what you should be doing right now, which is don't go this way. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay, so he's got some kind of tragic backstory where he ran somebody over with his truck, right? Because that was not Alessa that jumped on the road and collapsed in front of him. And he's like, oh my god, did I hit her? It's like, no, you didn't hit her. She's clearly standing right there and walked off. She's fine. She didn't get it turned into a, f a red paste by a, a truck. You're good. But he's got, like, a guilt tied to specifically that, obviously. That's what they censored. Did you hit that one kid's mom? The one in your flashback? Is it lonely where you are? Smoke. My god. She seems trustworthy. What's in there? Kind of feel bad for cutting off the lonely song. It's doing that cool thing where the fire is climbing all the textures in the walls. Oh, it is sm smoking here. So you got you got this far before you realized that it was smoke and not mist. Like I I can only see, but you can smell. I think. Let's see, I have something to share. Oh. Well, you're not going back that way. The only way. Uh, you're gonna need a rescue now, buddy. How's the rest of the song go? Is it lonely where you are? Mmm, seems like a dead end. Oop, don't run. Yep, that's gonna get us in trouble. Oh, God, no. Coming with me. Not gonna lie, I think I'd leave her. She's in a witch circle. She's burned all over her body and she said, let me burn. And then fire came out of her. Uh, normally, yes, save people. In this case, you're meddling with shit that you shouldn't be, apparently. This the wrong way. Unless it's not. Does this dead end exist for a reason? No. Oh! I was trying to find the camera controls. They're weird in this game. Usually you kind of like point it around. Oop. This one you can center it behind you like Zelda. Okay, well, I guess you need her to leave then. She's gonna use her magic. I guess you were doomed the moment you tried the stairs. So there's no real timeline where you can get out of here without her, is there?
safe now. Hey! Someone help her! Where is... everyone? Oh wow, that went fast. Uh-oh. Nope, that's not good. <laughs> there was an air raid siren behind the cop sirens. Ah, oh, well, fuck. We're already here. The end. <laughs> You're doomed. R.I.P. Where am I? Silent Hill. What happened last night? That girl. Did she make it? They would have taken her to the hospital. Coon Street. I need to see if she's okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, here comes the usual trek across Silent Hill to get to your first destination, which is often the hospital. That comes up quitty, pretty early. Now we're just... We're right here already. Here we go. It'll be a very short walk. 35. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. <laughs> They're right next to each other. Like, I guess maybe it's because it's a hospital. So they really want you to see the speed limit requirements, but... Holy crap, there's so many signs. Alright, well that's... The usual, I suppose. Oh, oh god. This is why tank controls were invented. To solve that problem. Hmm, he's not curious about the broken window. Is this the ambulance that brought her in? Al Camilla Hospital. Very familiar location at this point. It's in like three of the games. This is like the third game to have it, right? Maybe fourth? I don't know. No, it's definitely not going to be in... Wait, no. I was about to say it was definitely not in three, but in three, don't you come back to Silent Hill? I think it might have been in three. I think there's like an either a remake or a sequel made by fans that is called Alcamilla. You got the map. It's kind of like watching a blind let's play, but I'm the the viewer, and he's gonna be the one who gets to experience Alcamilla for the first time. How exciting! Wow, I can't. I'm so happy I get to be here for your first time. Public notice under construction. Uh, currently the second and the... Oh, thank God. <laughs> currently the second and third floors of this hospital are undergoing renovations. At this time, they are closed to patients and visitors. Work continues in earnest, and the hospital management thanks you for the continued cooperation as we try to minimize the disruption. We estimate the construction will be completed within six months. Oh, God. There you go. Press A. The restructuring of the third floor will almost double our capacity for inpatients and introduce cleaner, more modern facilities. Here at Alcamilla, the quality of care we provide to you, our valued patient, is of the utmost importance. Dr. Phillips, Children of Alcamilla Board. Can I look at the static -y screen? No? It's weird that you can just center the camera behind you like that. I think it's because I, I always... I inevitably compare this to uh, Silent Hill. And so I always kind of expect there to be like a... I don't know, like a... Pff, fixed camera angles, like the different cinematic sights everywhere. 
Then that comes with tank controls and so on. There's a lot of really interesting weird differences between Silent Hill and Resident Evil. This time around we're saving at these like glowing triangles. It seems it changes each game for a... Uh, in Silent Hill 3, it was the, the the demon circles or whatever. It's locked from the other side. That's a difference. I always, I still kind of always wish that the Silent Hill games were more of a survival horror game than they are. Given stuff like Resident Evil, where it's like, you gotta navigate this map and get these items and so on, like, this, this, the basic DNA is there at first, but then you realize, oh, in Resident Evil you're encouraged to conserve ammo and be careful and make resource management choices, and in Silent Hill games you're pretty much free to just gun down every single enemy. Okay, the resetting the camera has actually disoriented me a little bit. There we go. Maybe lose track of which way I was, I was facing because they all kind of look similar. There's a... can't leave until I know what happened to that girl. There's definitely like an inversion between these two franchises where you would think that Silent Hill, the one where you play as just some dude, would be like the more desperate survival horror experience as opposed to the one where you're pretty empowered to just murder everybody. And Resident Evil, the one where you play as the guy, as a trained officer of some kind, you'd expect that to be the one where you gun everything down, but actually, you have to be really careful. I noticed about a recent fundraising event. Wow. I hope they got, I hope it worked out for them. It didn't. Nothing worked out for anyone around here. Hey, you a doctor? Can I help you? That fire last night. The girl who was burned. Is she here? A girl? We've received no new patients in the last day or so. Was she hurt? She was burned all over. Are you a relative? What did you say her name was? I don't know her name. I was the one who saved her from the fire. She must have been brought here. Is there another hospital? I'm sorry. Perhaps someone in reception could help you. I have urgent business to attend to. Goodbye. Is it just me, or did that remind everybody of G-Man from Half-Life? Like, a lot. <laughs> like, it's not one-to-one, -one, obviously, but, like, the way he stood, the way he's dressed, the way he talks, being a little weird, because everyone's a little weird in this game. It's definitely what came to mind. Hello? This is the same broken window we saw from outside. So it's kind of neat when there's those, like, those, like continuity thin moments where they... Oh, so there should be like a front gate over there and there's not really but uh like these are separated by lo loading gates so like there's some special effort going in when you make the effort to uh make the inside and outside match because they're actually two separate environments a dirty gurney someone just left it here you dirty gurney <laughs> why am I me The it's getting spookier in here. Oh, that's not good. Yes. You okay? Well, learn by doing trial by fire. Uh, this. Okay. Ooh, this is a different screen. Items, supplies, nope. Melee hammer. Let's fucking go. Oh, shit. Nope, I don't want that in me, as it turns out. I know, surprise. Stop it, stop it. Kick the 
shit out of her. Oh, he actually uses the hammer. Damn. That's unusual. Something's blocking it. I can't open the door. Camera's still going. Am I still in danger? Well, that was a very different level of noise really quickly. A medicine cabinet full of drugs I don't recognize. Medical charts, they mean nothing to me. Preliminary diagnosis. Third degree burns. Patient is unconscious. Something has prevented damage spreading to the internal organs. Tissue damage is limited to the epidermis and extremities of limbs. How is that possible? So she somehow got exclusively skin damage. Otherwise she's fine. Hello. Uh oh. That reminds me of the scary... Oh. It's like the scary room. Where you see the reflection doing something fucked up. And then it happens to you. It's gurney stained with blood. Some of it still seems wet. A bunch of medical pamphlets. Trop tropical diseases, baby vitamins, flu shots, that kind of stuff. Hello, me. The other version of this room looks way more concerning. It is a mirror, isn't it? Or is there a f Hmm. There's something wrong with the mirror. The reflection isn't right? It is a mirror? I thought it was a window. Seems fixated on the mirror. Can I hit it? Is there something I'm supposed to try to approach here? It's weird to me that the mirror is described... There's like a symbol for the, the mirror on the map. It makes me think it's important? Hmm. Um... Um... I'm in both and she is not. You're the girl from the fire. How did you... Shouldn't have done that. I'm seeing things. This ain't right. You fucked up bad. Wow, I only fought one nurse and we went from zero to the rust dimension immediately. Scalpel. Oh boy. How's that map looking? Immediately useless? Yep, immediately it's the other version of the of the hospital. Oh boy. Breathe. Plastic lungs. Breathe. I 
health drink. There you go. That's good news. Oh boy. Oh, it's hard to see. Nope. Nope. Stop. Go away. We're not doing this. It got a whole lot harder to see. I missed a door back here. Something's blocking it. I can't open the door. The lock's broken. There's a giant padlock on that one. So now we have access to the other side of floor two, which was blocked in the other world. Uh oh. Where is this? Another one. Did they break? I guess I'm using this door because I can't, the camera actually stopped following me. I can't I can't look at anything down there. Um. Oh, here we go. Where am I? No. This game has QTEs now. Oh. Look. <laughs> So the answer is yes, the hammers break. There's a death mask on the door. Underneath is a plaque which reads, even the blind have knees of eyes if they wish to gaze at the future. Me to bring eyes to it. There's an oval depression in the door. Underneath is a plaque which reads, Even in this inferno, from out of the flames, I saw life born anew. Like a phoenix. It looks like we're trapped here until I find a, f a couple more items. This direction's not gonna pan out. Interesting to suddenly have fixed camera angles there. Kinda makes me wonder if they tried it with the built-in camera, and it was just too hard to navigate in the dark. It sounds like a respirator. Like the kind you might use on a burn victim. I kind of tried to pick up that meat, honestly. Picked up lungs before. Golden egg. Ah, there's the oval depression.
Parts of this note are obscured. Worry not, I have used the to contain her power. No one will come to her aid. Of the five, hide them, protect them. Of the five what? Oh, there's more. No oh, D-pad only. Another stairwell. Maybe I'll try it in a moment. Let's maybe finish the floor first. See what else there is, if anything. Wait. Oh, I got turned around. The same stairwell. I think in some of these vaguely symmetrical looking environments in the dark, being able to snap the camera behind me can make me quickly lose track of which way I'm even facing. This heart of mine troubles me with its trembling. To still it, I have to put it on ice and locked it away. Remember these three beauties who... Remember the three beauties who cause it to pump. So are the key. Age before beauty. The pumps so are the key. That's the phrasing. Age before beauty. There's three beauties that cause this heart to pump. What the hell do I do with that? Oh, trip stand. Oh. Medical ice box with luck. Take a look. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it might be a six digit code. I didn't even see the drip stand that I picked up. Is it a weapon or a key item? That might be shown here. Oh, it's a weapon. Okay. So, not exactly an emergency item. I don't need it to, like, beat the game. Portable TV? How many items have I been maybe missing around here? That makes me worried. Seems like the implication is something's in that room. It's making some scary noises at me. So I know I can take the Phoenix downstairs. But there are some doors I didn't try around here. Okay. Looks like I took the right path from the get-go. Now we know for sure, so when I when I have to start like eliminating options to figure out where to go next, we know.
So I don't know about eyes yet. But you should be straightforward. We use from menu. Got model lungs. And an ornate golden egg. Warm to the touch, this egg is larger than a, a hen's and has an oily shine to it. Just having a normal one, putting an egg in a door. Every mirror points at a world that's correct that I want to get back to. Oh. I can manually switch back and forth. Oh. That's kind of interesting because that can lead to some puzzle solving and stuff. Usually you're forced, like you get a... Uh, you get a... Uh, how do I put it? You just, I mean, you just, you just get forced from one state to another as you progress and then you can't go back and it's just the world. You're just like, congratulations, fuck you. You're in Rust world now. Have fun. Having trouble with your anatomy to class? Uh, find that getting them out of, getting them out is much easier than putting them back in. <laughs> Just remember that easy mnemonic. Inside Steve, little Henry lurks. Instalehelu. Um. I can see Henry as being a heart and lungs at uh, lurks being lungs because I have lungs and there's been a there's a heart in play. What do the words stand for? Intestines, stomach, liver, heart, lungs. There we go. Intestines, stomach, liver, heart, lungs. Let's see. Time to start taking notes for this game. As is tradition. All right. Inside TV, little Henry lurks. Intestines. Uh, stomach, liver, heart, lungs. My handwriting is atrocious. Silent Hill Origins. I have not had to use my notebook very much lately. Now we've got this over here to keep track of that. There you go. I am. Okay, desk space is currently a premium. This is not ideal. <laughs> the real world is disappointing. Don't live in it if you can avoid it. All right. So I'm going to have to put the body back together in the correct order. That's a really creepy phrase, right? Sorry, I, I got focused on the puzzle for a while there, and I kind of skipped a little bit on how creepy it was, but... Inside... It's like, inside Stevie, little Henry lurks? What the fuck? Why is there a person inside of a person? The cistern lid is loose. Remove it? Sure, why not? What can go wrong? Oh, it's... Is that a liver? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to see, just a filthy toilet. You're gonna hurt that toilet's feelings. He, he could hear you. So I need to go back and forth across two worlds to find all the organs to put somewhere? A bunch of cleaning products. Not that anyone seems to do much cleaning around here. Listen, this is a huge improvement over the last one. Amy, 31. 
All right. AMY31. It's five digits. Which is one short, I think. Staff lounge key. Okay. I don't think that's enough to do the combination. And, it, and it's also it's letters. So I guess you'd have to make like a leap to turn that into a combination answer. What's this thing by the door? Can't really look at it directly. Whenever I walk up to it, the camera cuts so I can't see it. Unlocked. I'm, yeah, exam room, doctor's office, medicine room. I assume that's the where the lounge goes. Nope, staff lounge. Nope, that would be the one. Just that shared employee-only area. All looked like it'd be that kind of thing. Oh. Nope, can't click on that. There was a... Hard, uh, paperboard? What do you call it? Shit. Clipboard. Oh. Lucy 23. Keep them all in my notes. So it's women and their ages? Oh. Toaster. Cool. Not what I was going for, though. But thank you. Exam room. Okay, now we're going back. There's still coffee here. That has to be disgusting. Construction. As you know, the renovations to the upper floors have run into problems. The plumbing leak and substandard materials used have forced us to close off the third floor until further notice. We are reminded of the familiar adage, You get what you pay for. We now face six more months of work, reducing our capacity for the coming year. We will have to cut spending on inpatient care and consultancy fees by 50%. Therefore, we ask doctors to refrain from committing a patients and encourage home stays instead. Unless you're, they're dying in your arms, don't book them in. Staff party! Worry not, the staff party is still on. Our, rec our recreation budget is locked away where no one can tamper. Everyone meet at Annie's Bar at 8 p.m. on Friday. Alcohol, medicine, medicinal of course, and food will be free. Arrive early to grab a trainee nurse. They go quick. Oh god, it was already dark and then it got weirder. It's like, oh, we're completely fucked and we can't afford to take care of anyone. So if they're less literally dying, tell them to go fuck themselves. Because we can't afford to take care of anyone. People are going to be... Great suffering and not going to get adequate uh, coverage. But hey, party! Woo! Yeah, they can't take that money away. Also, grab yourself a woman. Oh, God. Every page was worse. Just old textbooks, reports, and magazines. Nothing I need. Energy drink. On one hand, there's an element of, like... Like, unions, good. The, your benefits and whatnot being taken away, good. Uh, and, like, because if, if you let them do it, they'll find excuses no matter what to do it. But there's still a grimness to it being a hospital and, like, everyone's at risk of dying. And we can't afford anything except to party! And it's like, oh, oh, God. Granted, the price of, like, a group dinner is, like, less than most medical expenses. Saving grace usually being that there's some kind of split cost somewhere with insurance and stuff like that, but like... Overall, medical stuff still pretty expensive compared to like dinner or whatever. I should save.
Let's exam in this room. Oh, there's the, where the organs go. A typewriter. I can use this to save. <laughs> Alcamilla Hospital. Notice to all staff, it is forbidden to enter my office unaccompanied until further for the notice. Dr. Kaufman. You can almost make it all out. I, I probably could eventually. Without the pop-up. But obviously the pop-up text is welcome for fixing the how hard it is to read, and it's also translatable. To all the different languages they put it in. Oh. Sarah? Sarah 19. Alright. Amy 31, Lucy 23, Sarah 19. Good. I think I got a. We're getting a few things here. Somehow accidentally skipped it being picked up, but we got it. Lungs, liver, intestine, stomach. Do I have everything but a heart? Plastic anatomy doll. That uh, intestines are looking a lot more detailed in this view. In the other view, it made it look, look like a brain. Alcohol. What are we gonna do with that? Are the three beauties? Oh, the three beauties. Amy, Lucy, Sarah are the three beauties for the heart, aren't they? And there's that's six digits overall, so that's the password to the chest. Which then will let me open the chest and rip out its still beating heart out of a chest. Get it? Ha! Huh. Gotta get back on track. I never tried those stairs, did I? Nope. That's not happening. So we've already run into the age-old thing where... Guy who seems like he might have the answers to something ignores our questions and disappears into the distance. And then we go after him, and continuity gone. He's just, just, he's just not in the place we end up at. What do we do with that? Does his head look at anything around here? For those that don't remember, in Silent Hill, your character looks at things he can interact with. Hello. Oh. That's just the elevator. Thought he was looking at the thing on. I guess. I guess that is the thing on the wall. Is the door for the elevator? The button for the elevator. He got used to this real quick. Now he's just using it. There's often... some kind of invisible requirement for whether or not you win. Sometimes based on how much damage you take. Whether you can protect somebody. Usually the requirement changes every game. Like I guess I was supposed to like... Control how much damage uh, Eileen took last game, and that was supposed to affect the ending or something. I can almost see it being how often you change between the different worlds, because it seems like an insanity effect a little bit. 
Like maybe switching back and forth too much because you get stuck on puzzles might affect the ending. If there even is different ones. Age before beauty. Is it alphabetical? Three, one, two, three, nine, teen. Yeah. Gross. Gross, 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 gross. Yeah. Yeah. Can't really see, but fuck you. <laughs> you stop. I thought I figured that would be that'd be happening. There is a predictable tempo to these things. And one of the big things is, oh, you solved a puzzle? Well, congratulations. Here's the enemies, fuck you. Just like in Dead Space. No 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 Bad, stop it. So far, no gun. But they're not exactly hitting me, are they? You can melee people with the portable TV and the toaster and the typewriter. And the alcohol bottle? I thought some of these would be key items of some kind. They're melee weapons? Alright. I, I thought this would be a melee weapon, but the other ones are a surprise to me. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna want to go back. The whole screen goes static. You almost like we're like we're in TV. Am I in TV? <gasps> Famous. I mean, I guess I am on TV. Is technically. <laughs> Some of you are watching this on TVs. I guess the bar really lowered. <laughs> I, I can imagine how much he struggles to get through every door because of how high he's holding this thing. With one hand, too. Alright, well this should be easy. So, inside Henry... Little... In, inside Stevie Little Henry lurks. Inside his intestines. Sup? Here you go. Inside Stevie, so stomach. Little liver. Henry, the heart. Lurks, lungs. Her face has a seam. It seems like it might split open. Oh, she seems nice. The doll's eyes have opened. Remove the eyes. All the organs have been returned to the doll. Nope, there we go, glass eyes. Kinda thought the face was gonna split open. Not gonna lie. Not that I had my heart set on it or anything. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> you 
You're locked in here with me. Ah, fuck. It defaults to no. There we go. Twice. Okay, so the the, de the death mask was in the other dimension. Is there a significance to the locations of the mirrors that do this? One of them was in the room where she was burning. Ah, shit! Same door again. I see how it's going. Alright, well, this is a slow weapon. Ooh. Bit rude, but we got there. Going the right way. I think it was back down there. I'm getting winded. I right, hear it is. Eyes with which to gaze upon the future. Who's there? Nope. Nope. Uh oh. That didn't last. Uh. I've had the hilarious other weapons. Thick, heavy glass. It's empty. Oh, it's empty. It's just glass. Okay. Let's see how it does. Oh, it's really big. Oh, wait. Did I just take her out? Screw you. Oh, God. Another one. Keep opening the map instead of the menu. Oh, pressing every wrong button. You're, you're, you should have messed with me. Oh, my God. The alcohol bottle one-shots people. This guy's a melee wizard. The toaster. Let's see how good it is. It's probably not. Two wide slots for bread, muffins, and pancakes. Made of pretty tough metal. I... I guess you're talking about, like, frozen pancakes. Because... You don't want to bake pancakes in a toaster. It's gonna... It's gonna sleek through the grit, the griddle. The grid. The, the, the grate. There you go. Ah, that looks like a flesh portal. Ah, she's, um, also here. Didn't want that to be the case. She's been cut open and her eyes are missing. What kind of, what kind of monster could have done this? Probably you in the other timeline. I think you did this somehow. The worlds affect each other. Really regretting getting out of your fucking truck right about now, aren't you, buddy? Scalpel. I picked that up on accident. I didn't see anything there. Oh, is she gonna get up when I try to leave the room? Or when I try to go into the blood wall? Hello? I was right to suspect her having a- Ah! I was right to suspect her having a weird cut open face. Fuck you! I'm just gonna punch you a lot. Yeah! You think you can take me? I'm Sir Punch-a-Lot. 
Do I have a stamina meter to worry about? That might be a thing. Ah, I got him! Fuck you! Eh. Oh. Well, at first glance I thought that was going to be some kind of boss fight, but... I think it's just a dude, a piece of the future. What is this? You. What was that thing? This isn't happening. Are you okay? Sorry, did I startle you? My name is Lisa. I'm a trainee here. Are you waiting for someone? No. No, I'm just... Well... I'm done here. Name's Travis. Nice to meet you, Lisa. You sure you're okay? You look a little shaken up. Sorry. No, it's okay. To be honest, I've been a little off all day. I was in a fire last night. I think it boiled my brain a little. The fire in the business district? How awful. I heard about that. No one knows how it got started. And that poor girl, Alessa Gillespie, to die like that. Alessa? She died? Yes. Sorry, did you know her? No, but... Never mind. Well, I have to run. Dr. Kaufman wants to meet me over at Cedar Grove Sanitarium, and he'll be mad if I'm late. Maybe see you around? Take it easy, Travis. You too, Lisa. Well, Lisa's here. I guess it was, e it was easy enough to guess because it's called Silent Hill Origins, but yeah, this is a... This is a prequel. She's not. She, she's the. She's the nurse that treated Alessa and is very dead.